All right, this will be a short video about the Kodiak canvas cabin tent, 12 by 9. The tent portion fits in here, the actual canvas part. I haven't put it in there yet. I'll do that when I take it down. Uh, our poles come in a bag like this. The optional um, walls that go on this extra part fit and they come in this little bag right here. It also comes with these. Not sure why, I guess you could I guess you could tie down the ends. Um, stakes come in here. Comes with two different kinds of stakes. There's these, which are actually pretty thick. Thicker than the cheap ones you get in those cheaper department store tents. Then there's this pretty thick. You're not going to bend that unless you're hammering through rock, which more than likely you will if you live in Utah or some place like that. It comes in a big old box like this, really heavy. I got this one from Competitive Edge Products. Um, this plus the extra parts to go on here instead of a screen I wanted to where I could close it off completely. That was an extra hundred bucks so I think it was around six fifty or so. Free shipping from them. So that was good. Alright let's go on, let's take a look at this. Alright this section right here that's optional. So when you take this off you just have like an awning here. You can see it's a separate piece. Um, the nice thing about this is you can close it down or you can have it open. So just spend the extra few bucks and get this instead of the screen enclosure. I mean, sure, you're losing a little bit of visibility, but I mean, not that much. Once you're in there, you can see just fine. You got plenty of screen. Uh, let's see. Canvas, not canvas. This is like a nylon. I mean, it's, it's a thicker nylon, but it is nylon. It's together with a Velcro strip all the way up here. It stakes down, stake there, stake there, and one on the corner. So it's pretty good on the stakes. Got sleeves that connect the two, so there's no open holes right there. Um, welded pieces. It's nice. The tent, nice and tight. Nice big windows, screens. Um, this is open so the rain water can come off of there instead of pooling up. Nice thick webbing, fits into place. Um, if you're wondering about these thumb screws, they're not like your usual, your usual thumb screws where it's just that little screw. Um, putting a divot in there and holding it in place. There's actually a, I don't know what you call it, a little collar inside of here to where it, this thumb screw actually puts pressure with that collar onto the sliding piece of the pole. So it's actually, thumb tight is extremely tough. And that's really all you need for this. Pretty tall. side door. Use it as a door, use it as a window, what have you. Um, it has a screen that comes down. It also has the outer portion that'll come out this way and it'll come out oh, to about right here. And there's a couple poles that are over there. You may have seen them on the trampoline. Yeah, you stake it out here and it makes another awning, but as you can see with the pavers, I didn't have the room to do that to stake it out. I guess I could have Tied it onto one of these chairs, but it's more than I want to do right now. Uh, if you're not using this awning part, um, it folds up. You can see the little toggles there. It'll it'll tie right up in place so it's out of your way. If you just want the tent without the extra enclosure, but I like having the extra room. 
Again, these all come down. I'll do that for you. That comes down. There we go. And that all zips. Um, this have metal zipper pulls and this little extra piece of rope makes it easier to go up and down with it. Again, it all stakes into place. Go inside. Side, plenty of room. Really nice. Um, all steel. Steel bars. Makes it nice. You don't have to put um, guy wires on it. You don't have to put all those wires, ropes out to the side. It makes it easier so the kids, if they can't trip over it, they will. So this is nice. Um, it doesn't blow away because it's all staked down really well. The whole thing is staked to the ground. I like that metal ridge all the way up along there. Um, on the thumb screw right there, you can hang. I guess you can hang whatever you want over that, over that bar. But it's got a little, a little cheapo tent light. Um, for tent lights, I, I I would suggest the Goal Zero Light of Life 12 volt system. Really nice, really bright. Great for power consumption. Um, on the side, you can see through there but it has this little lip of fabric going over there I have a MG PTS tent also which is a military tent it has these flaps on it and what we did in the military is it actually fill up sandbags and sandbag all that up but of course the flaps you can put them outside on the inside what have you but keeps it all down tight not that you wanted to put sandbags on here for yourself but whatever you put the legs of the chair on that keep it down in place again it's all velcro shut no skiers or bugs are getting through that so it's 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 really pretty tight I guess they're you can possibly find a little hole but this is all pretty tight together again Tie it up, tie this thing up if you're not using it. Window, and the door leads into the main compartment. Um, this rolls up from the inside up along here. It's all reinforced, really nice. Um, and a loop here to hang your light from. So that, that's all being supported by that steel structure above this. So don't worry about pulling that through. It's not coming through. The seams are all very nice. Feels like really good canvas. Good zippers. They're not YKK zippers like I, I prefer on things. I've never had one of those fail. I'm sure someone has. I'm sure I'll hear about it, but... Personally, I, I like them. They seem to be pretty good zippers. Um, put all your junk in there, cell phone, what have you, so you don't lose it. Floor space is at a premium in a tent, so if you can get it up off the ground, all the better. All right, the floor. Um, you probably think it's one of those cheapo floors that you see on on a regular tent. That's basically one of those cheap Walmart tarps. This isn't. This is thick. Very thick and it is waterproof. Very thick. You're not gonna you're not gonna easily puncture that thing. And it's not gonna dry rot or fall apart. You could you could tell just by feeling it. See this is that cheapo stuff. This is the cheap. I mean, this is better than than those tarps, but still, this is cheaper than this. This is actually pretty thick. So I like it. Kids like playing in it, but it's not some. It's heavy. It is. 
it's a booger to haul around but it's not one of those tents where you just you set it up and take it down a few hours later if you're gonna set it up it's gonna be up for a while and it can be up for a while it's one good thing about it There's those poles I was talking about. Anyhow, there you have it. Kodiak tent. Made in China. Oh well, a lot of stuff is now, hard to avoid it, but needless to say it is a good tent. Alright thanks, I think that's pretty much it, if you know more let me know, I'll see if I can post another video if I didn't cover anything. And no I'm not, I'm not going to take the advice of my 8 year old, no she's 9, uh, I'm not going to take the advice of my 9 year old and hose it down with a hose just to see if it's waterproof. Because I do want to take it down today and I want it to be completely dry, so that's one thing I am not doing. I'm not spraying it with a hose.